click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll discuss now how to prepare a vertical balance sheet when we have horizontal balance sheet or summary balance sheet in the question if we know the format clearly it becomes very easy to draw a vertical balance sheet with the help of horizontal balance sheet let us go through the question following is summary balance sheet of abhijit limited as on 31st march 2014 we are required to mark the items based on the format which we have studied equity share capital this will be part of share capital of company it will be part of owners fund or shareholders fund 10% preference share capital this is part of share capital this is part of shareholders fund 9% debentures this is a borrowed fund you can categorize it as secured loan general reserve this will be part of reserves and surplus capital reserve reserves and surplus 11% bank loan is a borrowed fund usually it's a secured loan creditors current liability bank overdraft it's a current liability but it is non quick non quick means we are not required to settle this liability in very short period it's an arrangement with the bank therefore it can be enjoyed in the long run also provision for tax current liability proposed dividend current liability profit and loss account this is surplus part of reserves and surplus depreciation provision this will be deducted from the fixed assets this is till date depreciation on fixed assets cash in hand current asset cash at bank current asset preliminary expenses this is fictitious asset fictitious asset means it will not have any realizable value this is a loss for the shareholders therefore this will be deducted from shareholders fund in shareholders fund we have to deduct this from reserves and surplus goodwill it's a fixed asset it's an intangible asset fixed and intangible asset building fixed asset but it is tangible fixed asset investments they have given clearly long term so it will be shown under the separate heading investment if investments are short term it will be part of current asset furniture fixed asset tangible plant and machinery fixed asset tangible debtors current asset prepaid expenses prepaid expenses current asset it is non quick current asset it mean that you cannot get back prepaid expenses easily therefore it's a current asset but categorized as what non quick stock current asset but it is categorized as non quick current asset the reason is you cannot sell stock immediately as and when you want it need to take time to sell the stock at a proper price therefore it is categorized as non quick current asset calls in arrears on equity this will be deducted from equity share capital it means calls are pending on the shareholders we have made a call but they have defaulted payment it is called as what calls in arrears it's an amount receivable from the shareholders it will be deducted from amount of equity share capital commission on issue of shares 
This is a fictitious asset. It has no realizable value. This will be deducted from reserves and surplus. Present the above balance sheet in vertical form and show the following net worth borrowed fund capital employed net block working capital fictitious assets abhijit limited vertical balance sheet as on 31st march 2014 we have prepared a format it's a particular and there are four amount columns the first part of the balance sheet will be called as sources of funds it will have first item shareholders fund in shareholders fund first we'll have share capital first we have equity share capital 390000 we have gone through the balance sheet there are calls in arrears on equity 10000 this 10000 is required to be deducted from equity share capital equity share capital 390000 less call sin arrears on equity 10000 so it will be 380000 380000 is paid up equity share capital 10% preference share capital 2 lakhs it will be part of share capital equity share capital 380000 preference share capital 2 lakhs total share capital becomes 580000 to this we are required to add reserves and surplus here we have general reserve 60000 capital reserve 50000 profit and loss account this is profit credit balance 140000 we can add all these reserves it is 250000 from this we are required to deduct miscellaneous expenditure group items or fictitious assets we can add these two items of fictitious assets it is 35000 this amount will be deducted from reserves and surplus 250000 is reserves and surplus minus fictitious assets 35000 it is 215000 share capital we have 580000 reserves and surplus after deducting fictitious assets we got 215000 so to this share capital we'll add this reserves and surplus 215000 to arrive at shareholders fund it is 795000 next we have borrowed funds or loan funds here we have 11% bank loan as borrowed funds and 9% debentures as borrowed funds both are secured loans we can take total of these two loan funds 9% debenture and 11% bank loan it comes to 350000 we can add now shareholders fund and borrowed fund to arrive at total sources of funds shareholders fund plus borrowed fund we got 1145000 this is the first part of balance sheet and that balance sheet total is 1145000 which is referred as total capital employed or total funds employed in business first part of the balance sheet is over second part of the balance sheet we are going to start now which should also have total 1145000 in application of funds first we'll have fixed assets in fixed assets we have two categories of assets tangible and intangible assets on liability side we have depreciation provision which is required to be deducted from the tangible fixed assets on asset side we have goodwill which is an intangible asset building tangible asset furniture tangible asset plant and machinery tangible asset we have tangible fixed asset building furniture and plant and machinery we can add them it is 8 lakh 50 thousand from this we are required to deduct depreciation depreciation provision here it is given rupees 80000 fixed asset gross block 8 lakh 50000 tangible assets 
less provision for depreciation 80,000 it comes to 7,70,000 this is the net block of tangible fixed assets in intangible fixed asset we have goodwill rupees 1 lakh we can add now tangible and intangible fixed assets 8,70,000 is total fixed assets next we have long term investments on asset side we have investments long term rupees 2 lakhs investments long term rupees 2 lakhs next we will have working capital in working capital first we have current assets current assets can be of two types quick and non quick or liquid and non liquid when we go to realize current assets certain assets can be realized fast it can be converted into cash but there are certain assets which cannot be converted into cash easily those are referred as non quick assets for example stock and prepaid expenses stock we cannot realize easily in cash and prepaid expenses means amount paid in advance it becomes difficult to realize these amounts so it is treated as non quick here we have debtors 150000 which is a quick asset prepaid expenses non quick stock non quick cash in hand cash at bank quick asset we have recorded quick current asset cash in hand cash at bank debtors we can take total of them it is 255000 next is next category of current asset that is non quick we have prepaid expenses and stock as non quick asset we can add non quick asset total non quick assets 250000 now we'll add quick and non quick current assets to arrive at total current assets it is 5 lakh 5000 next will be current liabilities current liabilities are of two types quick and non quick the current liabilities which are required to be paid in short run are referred as quick current liability for example creditors bills payable outstanding expenses taxation amounts whereas non quick current liabilities means those are not actually required to be settled during short run for example bank overdraft it's a current liability but it's an arrangement with the banker by provision of some security therefore bank is not going to demand that amount in the short run therefore it will not be considered as quick current liability but it will be referred as non quick current liability similarly income received in advance income received in advance is a current liability but that that is an amount which is required to be recorded as a liability because we may require to return that amount if our contract get cancelled or any other situation therefore it is not a liability in a real sense therefore it is referred as what non quick current liability here we have creditors quick liability bank overdraft non quick provision for taxation quick liability proposed dividend quick liability we can add these three quick liabilities it is 295000 next we'll have non quick current liabilities here we have only bank overdraft 135000 as non quick current liability we can add now quick and non quick current liabilities 430000 this amount will be deducted from total current assets 505000 so we got now working capital 75000 that is current asset minus current liabilities we can add now asset side fixed assets 870000 long term investments 2 lakh plus working capital 75000 so it is 11,45,000 this is referred as total assets 
total capital employed we got 11 lakh 45000 that is total of liability side total of asset side is also 11 lakh 45000 that means our balance sheet is tallied we have presented balance sheet in vertical format that was the first part of the question further they say show the following so we are required to show these values separately first we have net worth what is net worth simply net worth means owners fund in company shareholders are considered as owners so net worth is equal to shareholders fund that is share capital plus reserves minus fictitious assets so we got shareholders fund 7,95,000 this will be amount of net worth next borrowed funds that means funds which are borrowed from outside parties for example loans taken from banks debenture issued public deposits issued bonds issued those are referred as borrowed fund here we have two borrowed funds 9% debenture and 11% bank loan total amount is 350000 total capital employed is 145000 shareholders fund plus borrowed fund we get the figure of total capital employed net block means wdv of fixed assets here we have tangible fixed assets total 850000 this is cost minus provision for depreciation 80000 so there we have 770000 this 770000 is called as net block of tangible fixed asset goodwill value is given 1 lakh so here total net block will be 8 lakh 70000 next we have working capital current asset minus current liabilities is called as working capital here total current assets we got 5 lakh 5000 and total current liabilities 4 lakh 30000 thereby we got working capital 75000 next we have fictitious assets that is miscellaneous expenditure group items the assets which cannot be realized in cash for example preliminary expenses profit and loss account debit balance that is loss discount on shares discount on debentures premium on redemption of shares redemption of debentures which cannot be realized in cash is called as fictitious assets here we have two fictitious assets preliminary expenses and commission on issue of shares total amount is 35000 in this question we have understood how to prepare a vertical balance sheet from summary balance sheet that is horizontal balance sheet we have also understood how to find out the various values like net worth working capital net block etc and how to present them in our answer thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you